Hey everybody, Awesome at G here, and today we're going to get back to some more capricious playing Walking Dead. Uh, it's been a long break between the last episode and this one. Very. Yeah, she got she got stressed out with the last episode, which is fine. And oh. then there were health concerns that came up that we had to deal with. So, but yeah. we're getting into it now. So, I'll let you lead the way when you're ready. I'm nervous. I'm not ready. <laughs> you're not ready. Well, I'll never be ready. I'm I'm incredibly nervous because it's been so long. Okay, so I just hit play. Yeah. Oh God, what'd you do? <laughs> and then. That's you. Yeah. And then play. Yep. And it should zoom over to three. <sighs> yeah. Okay. <sighs> okay. Previously, on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea! Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them. You'll be safe. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, maybe. They tend to take us by surprise. Yeah, well, the less I see, the happier I am. Where do you come down on staying or going? You mean, packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. You're damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. I'm already super nervous. <laughs> <laughs> like, very badly nervous. Huh. Hmm. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Looks 
like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. I don't like being down here by myself. Hmm. Looks like it still works. I want to stay as close to that dude as possible. What's his name? Kenny? Yeah. Huh. Steve. <laughs> I, yeah. It's a generic name. <laughs> They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Hmm. Hmm. There's no safe way through that mess. There's no safe way through that mess. Kenny, come on. Ah, shit. Damn it. I can't reach. Sorry, pal. All right, stay put. I was about to say, shit, that's not how I did it. <laughs> I was hoping. I was like, no way. Multiple paths. I feel like I don't know what to do. Well, there was something on the front of that truck, right? Well, there was the, what is it called? Hitch or winch or thingy me bob. <laughs> I'm a girl. We don't know these technical terms. No, that's not what I want to do. I wanted to look at this. Looks like it still works. Hmm. Oh, oh. Looks like it's still Oh, works. I forgot I could do this. Ha, <laughs> noob. Shut up, boy. He's not doing so good, huh? Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What does that do? Can you stop zooming in, please? Girl still upset with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon? I think she understands. Hope so. Not like we had much choice. Right. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. What'd he say? He just woke up in the middle of the night, screaming his head off. He thinks he killed Herschel's son. Oh, Christ. I'm sorry. Fact of the matter is, we did. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. Shit. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. You're lucky it wasn't any worse. You could have. <gasps> Don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. I... It's a girl. 
We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. <gasps> oh, she's bit. Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her. Buying us time. Yeah, think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. It's true. She'll keep him busy. Should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Left and right. She's gone. There's not much time now. This is really nerve-wracking, people. Ah, oh, shoot. I guess I should have gone the other way. Other way. Coming. Come on, Lee. Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Jimmy, help! Um. Oh, Q. 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 E. Oh. I don't like these button presses. I'm not good at it. Now, let's fucking get out. Yeah, run, yeah, baby. Punch him. Hey, punch him. God damn it. Time to reflect, just run. Let's go, pal. This game would be better if it didn't have zombies. <laughs> Such a dorky laugh. Ron Swanson does not have a dorky laugh. Ah, oh, well, you're not Ron Swanson. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? Might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone and come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look.
We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Because piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We have to go eventually, Lily. We don't have to do anything. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health, but he's gone now. Easy, Kenny. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. We're strongest together. It can't be you versus us, Lily. We're sorry for what happened to your dad, but we're in this together now. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you- We got plenty of food from that station wagon. We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? We got what we needed. It was just something that had to happen. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Oh, my heart is really pounding. <laughs> Very hard. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. <laughs> See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. I just find it adorable that she's like, when we went to the botanical garden, and I remember all the stuff we did in elementary school, and it's like, all the same universally pretty much yeah the little the leaf, leaf rubbing yeah i did stuff that, like that. Yeah. yeah and i thought it was the coolest thing ever cool my sheet of paper looks like a leaf now i went home and i collected leaves and i had to show my mom and she's like that's nice <laughs> yeah <laughs> the mom's told it that's her version of like cool story bro yeah she's like <sighs> that's nice sweetheart 
Go do this in your room. Yeah, exactly. I'm Leave sorry. mommy alone. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing <laughs> shit. Bitch. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? Mm -hmm. I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. Fuck you. <laughs> A mystery. Jesus, Doc. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? <sighs> what did I just say? <laughs> You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson. Your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. <laughs> you can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. <laughs> yeah, <Sorry>. good. <laughs> what do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Oh, Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. I love that part. You need to unhear all that. 